You you remember the early days of Joe Biden's presidency when like we would get a spicy clip every, like maybe once a week, maybe once every two weeks, probably because he was staying out of the spotlight as presidents are known to do. Um, now we get like every couple hours a new gaff video from President Biden. And I know it's overplayed to say the dude's got dementia, but good God. It's getting painful. So that brings us to this week's, uh, this week's uh, Remembering Biden. And Corn Pop was a big, bigger big shot. Nazi fags. You ain't black. You're a stupid son of a bitch. Oh, yes. It's Remembering Biden, everyone's favorite segment where we remember Joseph Robinette Biden in all of his glory because God knows he doesn't remember anything that we're about to talk about. And uh, the kids of the future will not be able to learn about this in the history books, so we will be the history books now for you. Um, this happened this week, um, and Top, do you want to? There's no real audio here, so would you like to narrate and explain what we're what we're witnessing? Uh, yeah, for the people who don't have computers, it looks like Joe Biden walking, and then a blind man, clearly blind, with a walking stick, grabs Joe Biden's arm, and they seem to be leading each other to nowhere. <laughs> It, at one point, yeah, the man with the with the walking stick actually is leading Joe Biden, and Joe Biden is following. Mm -hmm. Then the man's assistant comes, takes him away, and Joe Biden looks confused, like, how come nobody's telling me what to do or where to go? <laughs> where the fuck am I supposed <laughs> to go without my blind guy? Come on, man. <laughs> without my blind guy. He, you know he's my eyes. <laughs> yeah. It's, uh, now... As always, I like to steal man the other side however I can. Uh, benefit of the doubt here. Let's say, so this blind guy, he's walking along with Joe Biden. Joe Biden's actually leading him. Let's let's give him the benefit of the doubt. I know that that's a preposterous thing to assume that Joe Biden would be leading anybody at this point, but he's leading a blind man, ironically. Um, and then another blind man comes along, I think. Wait, I didn't even realize. No, the guy's, the guy's black. He's not blind. It's, it's Right, different. but. Okay, I, I thought the black guy was holding the walking stick for a second there. Um, no, um, so blind guy is being led along, and then the other guy takes blind guy, and the blind guy grabs his arm in the same way that he gra was grabbing Joe Biden's arm. So it seems like Joe Biden was supposed to be leading him. The problem with that theory, though, that Joe Biden was leading a blind man, is that Joe Biden looks absolutely perplexed and uh, confused as to <laughs> why his blind guy walked away and what the hell is he supposed to do now? <laughs> it's so amazing. I can't believe we live in this timeline. Oh, it's yes. Just, if I didn't laugh, I would cry. You know what, man? It won't be in the history books. And uh, thank God, one of my good friends, he's like, I'll I'll call him a nerd. He's he's just a nerd, but he takes these videos, and on his phone he's got like terabyte a terabyte of memory, and he just like organizes them in a file. Oh, so beautiful. if I asked him a year later, yeah, I'd like send me a Joe Biden gap. He's like, hold on, scroll through, and we need people like that making an encyclopedia of this shit because it'll be gone. It'll, Unleash the autists. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Unleash them. Keep vaccinating us. I dare you. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, I, that's my theory. Is that uh, that. It's like when Frankenstein's monster turns against him, like they, they vaxxed us all as kids and they're like, hey, this what could possibly go wrong here? And then um, it definitely didn't lead to us all being autistic. But if it did, um, all those autistic people then realize that the government isn't to be trusted, maybe has something to do with that. And their own creation of their army of autists turns on the government that created them. And it's I mean, it writes itself. Well, there's a there's a sweet Hit me spot. up, Jack so Casey. <laughs> yeah that's a story but the, the sweet spot is something like 64 oh no no sorry i think we had 16 depending on how old you are now yeah. like uh, the the new generation they want to do 64 plus every other Good booster God. shot and yeah they're really trying to like they went from like just making you uh autistic to literally making you retarded <laughs> so that's what that's what their goal is it seems yeah. like they're doing great. I don't know if you've been paying attention. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're really good. <laughs> so um, nailed it. Um, now this also happened this week from Biden, where um, he recognizes somebody in the audience and says this. But guess what? We got a lot to do. You gotta say hi to me. <laughs> we go back a long way. She was twelve. I was thirty. But anyway. Why are they laughing? Oh God! Why are they laughing at that? Was that a pedophile joke? Like, what was that? I don't. 
I, she was 12, I was 30. Yeah, I, that's all well, he says. I was 30, but anyway. Yeah. <laughs> this woman helped me get an awful lot done. At any rate. But maybe get... maybe that's worse. Um, what did she help you get done <laughs> at 13 when you were 30, sir? I'm, I'm, I'm confused. Somebody should check her diary. Maybe, maybe yeah. she helped them shower. Was yeah. that his niece? That was his oh, daughter, boy. I'm pretty sure. Um, but yeah, that's all crazy conspiracy theory nonsense. But we do have to talk. I mean, that's enough, Biden, whatever. Um, do, you, do you have any final thoughts before we move on from the Honorable Joseph Robinette Biden? On Joe Biden, I'm, I'm glad he's happening right now. I'm sad that he is happening and uh, like overseeing our economic downturn and yeah. the, the end of America. Yeah, it's, it's bittersweet. I'm glad that it's happening in front of us, and I'm sad that it's happening to us. <laughs> so, <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'll make a